Okay. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. What is the from here? Sorry. Okay. This is 29 minutes past 3 p.m. here from Land. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland, Radio Biafra, here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist in Mazen, Madam Chengwachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is now an Henry. An Henry is a local government in Ojiriva province of Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcast on the IPOB. Nam Bikan is our leader, and he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement. As he stands now, the health condition of Nam Bikan worsens because even at this moment, Nigerian state have continued to deny Mazenam Dekano, IPOB leader, access to his personal doctor. It is very, very dangerous to play with the life of Mazenam Dekano. Nigeria is now showing us that those things they are talking about one Nigeria is useless. Mazen Namde Kano, we never asked for pardon for him. Other activists from other regions was pardoned because the federal government just withdrew their case and ended it up. If it is in court, they will say discharge, uh, caution and discharge. People like projected agent like Iboho, he was projected by the Yoruba people. This um, Sowere is also a, a, a political, he, he has what he's looking for. They freed them on that part, not that they, they went to court, to court to discharge them. Mazin Namdekano from 2015 to today have never fall victim in any Nigerian court. He have been successively, dis, that is, defeating Nigerian government in their court from 2015. And that is why, if you go to this very program on the top of the topic, that is the description there, you will see that Maz, I wrote there, Mazin Namdekano have defeated the Buhari Nigerian government, that is the Fulani was in charge then. You know, in Nigeria, it is tribal issue. There is nothing like one Nigeria. Everybody talk about tribe. If something is happening to our people from the east in the Lagos, the people from Nigerians that are from the um, west, which they say Lagos, be telling you, what did the Igbo leader say? What did the Southeast leader say? That is to say, the, 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 if that thing is happening in Ladipo, if that thing is happening in Oshuri, if that thing is happening in Apapa, which is, if there is one Nigeria, the local government chairman will come and do something for Nigerians. He will not say this is Igbo or this is Yoruba. The House of Assembly member representing that area in state has something to do. When he comes in, there will be nothing like Igbo, Hausa or Yoruba if there is anything like one Nigeria. There is a senator representing Ikoi. Something is happening to Igbo people in Ikoi or Akwa Ibon people in Ikoi or anybody from the east in Ikoi. They will say, what is Igbo people saying? What is Igbo elder saying? That is to say, automatically we are outside from the country. They say, it is their leader. It is their elders. That is their problem. How can my elder be my problem? What, who is my elder? I think the whole elders in Nigeria, whether from the north, whether from the west, whether from the east, are elders, if there is one Nigerian. Now, something is, will be happening. 
they'll be waiting for senators from the east when the senators of the whole Nigeria is for Nigeria. Do you understand where they always showcase the division? There's nothing like one Nigeria. I don't know what they are pampering. Yoruba elders cannot come and rescue Igbo in Lagos. Lagos people, Yoruba people will be waiting for Igbo elders' response. Are you understanding? So, that, let us continue. Mazenam can have defeated the Fulani, Buhari, Nigerian government that started this matter. If you look at my screen, you will see Mazenam Dekanu's picture. You will see President of Nigeria, Tinubu, Ahmed Tinubu picture. You will see Fabemi, the Attorney General of Nigeria, a Yoruba man. The President of Nigeria, a Yoruba man. Attorney General of Nigeria, a Yoruba man. Then, Ariwola, a Yoruba man. That is, Chief Justice of Nigeria, a Yoruba man. This very message will be very short. Your duty is to share it. Right? DSS picture. Nigerian, um, that is, lawless organization. That is DSS. You see the picture there. This is a lawless organization. DSS. They know I'm here now. Did they know, did they know here where I came from? We are dead already. That is what we are presenting to them. They don't want to hear. They want to stop an American and stop my people. Are you stopping people? You, you can only stop living people. Not people that are dead already. We are dead. So your strategies are rubbish. Like you see us, we are dead. We can only become life when the affair is restored. So when you are presenting death to us, we welcome it because we are already dead. But we cannot die a useless death. Now you understand. Then we continue. Any stage the battle owner will try to bring your knowledge to it. Our people, I'm talking to you, then let us continue. Don't be distracted one day. Your intention in the struggle is not the other person's intention. Mind your business here. Face the struggle. Stop playing ball back home. You may score own goal. And how well you know then we continue. Then, share the program very wide. You can see the other picture. That is, Aloy Ejimako, by Aloy Ejimako, Mazenam Dekano's lead counsel to um, um, tweet, right, concerning the, mess, the health condition of Funam Dekano. All I care is the health condition of Funam Dekano, right? So that should be your focus. It doesn't matter how it come, where it comes from. We must look into it, and it is dangerous to Nigeria's existence. The health condition dangerous. Not we. We are dead already. After all, our land is not safe. We are under siege. If we don't fight for freedom, we will die. Nigeria have the, designed us for death. You know, uh, whether you are in the east or in the west, you will die. If you, whether you are in the north, you will die. That is the project from Nigeria to kill somebody from the east or to intimidate anybody from the east or make somebody from the east to cry is righteousness to the west and the north. That is righteousness. If you have never practiced it, you are not righteousness. That is why you can see Reno Mokri trying to turn evil to good. Because Muslim can said, Nigerian media, if you give them money, they will tell you the goodness of devil, Lucifer himself. Even as people have designed Lucifer, Nigerian media will promote Lucifer and tell you how good Lucifer is. So what are these things forwarding to? To make sure that there is nothing, nobody that come out from the East that exists. That is all their agenda. It is righteousness to the West and to the 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 north now with this very knowledge we have i wonder how some people will think that that there will be one nigeria when we are in their in their country with this knowledge how can we allow nigeria to exist i wonder you will be carrying on always that is to say you don't have a country 
You will, be, you will continue from generation to generation. We will keep tormenting Nigeria until they leave us because we are dead already. They have killed us. We will not say they are tormenting us. We will not say they are marginalizing us. No. They have mapped us out from existence. So when you say Nigeria is marginalizing people from the East, it will be as if you are the same family. Right? So they are intimidating you in the family. They don't take us as part of their family. They don't see us there. So you can only talk about marginalization, marginalization if they take you as part of them. You say, okay, something may be corrected. You have already been deleted from the face of the earth as Nigeria is programmed. Just that our God allowed us to exist. So only thing that can settle the matter is referendum. Wickedness on us will not solve it because we will continue. We cannot die in silence. Just like in 67, they push us out of Nigeria. They force us out of Nigeria. We refuse to die in silence. We answer our name. And that is our name. We refuse to borrow a name. We refuse to be without a name. We refuse to be without a map. Outside the map. We refuse to be without a government. Because they want us to be like that. We said no. And when we did, we did this, they came. People that force us out of, out of Nigeria by going against agreement. There are the people that come to kill us again to force us into Nigeria. I wonder such a country. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. We continue. Share the program very wide. You know what I wrote at the top of that program? Facebook will not allow it to go far. I must say the truth. Understand this. Only Obla Mawen here to play. Make sure you are playing. Don't play ball back home. There is no time any to get a ball now in the match to be trying our post. To try to see if the DOS is strong. Or if, if this person is strong. It's not the reason they take taking a ball. Obro name na nigga na bachi ball as Ishe ba apu. Wele ya kelu ke wepo ke. Wele ya kelu. Ma we mano ma te woko. Iti kola nye ikwe 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 ikwe. Iti ma ro ma te woko ke wepo ke na bo la. Check it out. Thank you. So now, let us analyze very fast. Mazinam de Kanu defeated Buhari and Nigerian state, Nigerian government Fulani government, Northern government, because it is all about tribe. There is nothing like one Nigeria. In America, you don't talk about one Nigeria, uh, one America. All they know is America. In Germany, one, even if people are agitating, what they know is Germany. Nobody come and sing one Nigeria, one, one, uh, one America, one Germany. One People can agitate. It's only in Nigeria they sing it as song because there is nothing like that. There is nothing like that. Any family that is one, they will never sing song. I say we are one, oh, oh, we are one. I have never seen such family. People that are one, every time they will be singing it, they, will, they say we are one. They will, we are one. Because you are not one. You cannot force us into to be one. You can never. You can never. You can never do so. You can never succeed. So we continue. 2015, 2016, 2017, Mazen Amkan defeated Buhari government. He defeated Buhari government in their court. It doesn't matter the Hitler they say Buhari is or was. They killed the IPOB family members. They lobbied different parts of the world. They lobbied government. They lobbied medias. They kill us physically, they kidnap us, they arrest us, they disappear us. Still, in their court, Mazenam can defeat them. Upon that, all this intimidation and excessive force and extrajudicial killings of IPOB family members by, Nigeria, by the Nigerian state, IPOB have never retaliated. Because we don't have gone. What we have is microphone. And the pen and paper. That's all. We have no gun. We have nothing. But we will fight to the end. 
Nigeria have shown not gone from 2015 to today. We never surrender. And they have never relaxed because they know you cannot defeat IPOB. So, since how many years they have been showing us gone? Not only showing us gone, using it on us, killing us. Killing does not end. Arresting, kidnapping, so many others. And see, we are still here. Then what is the intention of somebody to think that somehow, if Mazen and Gano die in their hand, that everywhere will be quiet? I don't know the kind of people that gather and say they are politicians in Nigeria. How do they reason? And I don't know the kind of people that say, that think that they are Nigerian citizens. I don't know how they reason. I don't know how they reason. Somebody that people have been dying for, just because of his detention, you think that what will happen when you, you die in your detention? Not he die as a convict. People do not understand. You know, one thing is Nigeria is that they go to school, they don't know anything. All these people that talk about Mazin Amdekano, they went to university. But if you see them, they will write English, but they don't have sense. They don't have sense. Somebody will look for Maz, would come to Mazin Amdekano issue, somebody that is a Nigerian. Some, you will see that this man has been discharged. Now, let us just say he, have, he was not discharged, but he had been discharged and acquitted. Not caution and discharged, not dismissed, not only discharged, discharged and acquitted. But let us just say it didn't happen, but he is in ATM. Though he is in DSSO, but let us just say he is in a waiting trial. Do you understand? And he leads millions of people. Don't compare him with an idiot. Who you intimidated that died in your cell? Don't compare Namkano with a criminal like Abiola because Abiola was a fellow criminal like politicians. His fellow criminal said, You will not move further. You will not continue to, you will not go on top. Right? We'll stop you. It was criminals that stopped Abiola from being at the top of their criminology or crimi criminality. Because Nigeria is all about steal, take it. Um, still make people to be useless. That's why they brought um, austerity measure. They brought green revolution. They brought war against discipline. They brought um, what is it? Structural adjustment program. Sir. They brought everything. There is nothing they have not brought. Nothing works. Nothing works. So, Mazin and Kano and IPOB have defeated the Buhari. I know why I'm making this clear. That is why you see Yoruba people picture. Mazin and Kano have defeated Buhari, the North and the Fulani in their agenda. Tinubu want to become president. They told him that Tinubu Kano will stop him. Tinubu contributed much for the kidnapping of Tinubu Kano. And at the end, he thought that he, Buhari will jail Namdi Kano before he, uh, the Buhari government, because uh, nothing like Buhari. The Buhari government, if there is Buhari, why is it that Tinubu have never called to Buhari for questioning? But Buhari was calling Jonathan. So it is my own stand. I don't care what you think. Tell me a government that hand over and is the, 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 the incumbent government. Uh, refuse to mention their name in anything upon the sufferings people are going through upon the economic shock everything destroyed there is no question to answer by the Buhari's government they just single out MFL where is the Buhari government? MFL is not a government so if a government can hand over in Nigeria Buhari was composing Jonathan's name as a song he was singing it as song. His government, anywhere they go, Jonathan, why is it that Tunubu have never mentioned Buhari and say Buhari caused this, or Buhari is this, or Buhari should respond, or Buhari should answer question? So there's no Buhari. I have never seen it before in Nigeria. Talk more of Buhari's government that people cried, but he have no question to answer. But Jonathan government that people enjoyed, Jonathan have question to answer. Then with this very knowledge we have, you think Nigeria will move forward. I want to know, I don't know how people think, because you are a House of Assembly member, you think that with our knowledge and experience in Nigeria, you are wiser than us. 
Ega leba niyi. God is our witness. Eba niyi ne alaya niyi. Now, when Mazen Namdekanu went to appeal, destroy Nigerian government, the Tinubu's latest agenda, because what Fulani now did was they told Tinubu, even to hold Namdekanu, the disobedient to court order, Tinubu contributed. Because he had he been, uh, they told him if he's uh, allowed now to go by the appeal court order, that means to say the same thing will happen to election. So Tinubu was fully in, in, involved in the illegal detention of Fernando Khan when he has not been a president. Right? This message is to them. What we are telling them is that we know the game. It is not an answer. We know the game now. That is why we are here. We don't have gun. If I cannot shoot gun, why can't I tell what happened to us when I have the microphone before they kill me? Why do you think that I will not speak before they kill me? Because everybody from the East is entitled to be killed, whether you are in abroad, whether you are everywhere. You are a victim. We also we are condemned criminals. As he stands in Nigeria, anybody from the East, whether you are a senator, whether you are whether you are anybody, he can't go matter if he's a is he, a notana. If if Shetima can be a vice president, Boko Haram, tell me if Shetima is involved in the case of Ike Kurimada, if it will not be settled. Instead, they will they will give the British or US to free Shetima. If a, a Boko Haram, if Pantami, a Boko Haram can be a minister. If Shetima Boko Haram can be vice president. If Tinubu in his uh, matters can be president. Why can't a Yoruba man or not an adult for a victim like a Kuremado be freed? Why? <laughs> but he's a Kuremado now from the East. They were defeated in the war. But they said no veto, no language. So that is the image. Right? Thank you. So we continue. What we, I want to make it clear for people who will be interested in the matter that we are presenting. Because we cannot allow the record to change. Tinubu accepted this case, this illegal detention of Fernand de Kano. If not, he would have told the Fulani government, Buhari government, to free Nam de Kano. But he saw him as a stumbling block. Then, if he has succeeded with that plan, fine to him, but not to us. But we did not do anything anywhere than to be continued agitation in our civilized manner. But it has come to a point that Tinubu has become a president. Upon all these things, upon the legal detention of an American. Now, what is still holding Tinubu? Who have approved the continued detention of Funam de Kano? Because Tinubu government approved it. If he said that he's not involved, he was not involved in the disobedient to court order because of the 2023 election then why is he still keeping in the can because in the can have defeated the Buhari's government so if Tinubu can be the president and the Fabemi a Yoruba man the attorney general and the Ariwola a Yoruba man the chief justice now what is holding Tinubu from freeing in the can I want to know no I want to know because Mazen Namdekanu issue have go to court and Namdekanu have been freed. It is now the normal state because to handle matter, to settle the matter, it is a political solution issue. That's why we refuse to go against the laws because we have never started by going against law. So we will not end it up by going against law. 
But we have the right for self-defense. And we have the right to protect our land. Very, very important. And Nigeria knew it. Under the same self-determination, under the same UN Charter of the Rights of Indigenous People, Section 4 and 5, the same thing, we maintain it. But we know when to apply any, which we know that we can never go against law. Then, now that Nigeria have continued to go against law, what do they expect from us? is to go against law too. But we have never gone so, and we never thought of that. But we have things we can do on that law. And we are doing few. We have not done all. Thank you, Dr. Fishinike. We continue. Thank you. We continue. So, what we are now saying is, why is Yoruba people not thinking deeply that they have to tell the government to free Mazenam de Khan? Don't they know the game Fulani played? They kidnapped Nam de Khan. Okay, let us say they arrested him from Motla Mohammed Airport, Lagos, 2015. He defeated them in 2017. They now kidnapped him. 2021. Though they went 2017 to kill him, the same Fulani Nigerian government, Northern government, that one failed. Now they kidnapped in 2021. They now presented your election. You becoming a president and telling you that Namkan is the obstacle. It may he may be your obstacle anyway, but in all you have become president. And what is your reason of appointing a Yoruba man attorney general and appointing chief justice as a, a, a Yoruba man too? And you're a Yoruba man. Because Nigeria is all about tribe. There's nothing like one Nigeria. Right? So now, what is the reason? If you cannot use these two people to free Mazinam the Khan and handle your matters. Because the, the continual detention of Namkan cannot stop us. One thing we knew is that becoming Nigeria is that is useless. So we can be useful when we become that is when we that is we prefer to die for rejected by rejecting Nigeria, not only rejecting Nigeria reluctantly without demanding for anything, rejecting Nigeria and demanding for our freedom. Now, if Nigeria want to challenge IPOB and say you want to force people into your Biafra, give us referendum. And that is why we are watching our politicians from the East. If you have been doing good, campaign for referendum. If you trust your politics, if you trust what you have been giving to our people, if you trust that you are truthful, if you trust that you are good, or your politics to our people, you are 100% good, even 30% good, you will succeed in referendum. But why are you afraid? The North is afraid. Politicians from the East is afraid. Yoruba is afraid of referendum. Does that mean that you mean nothing to us? If you mean something, then we will not succeed in referendum. If Nigeria means something to us, we will not succeed in referendum. It will be the better way. After playing match full time, 90 minutes, play extra time, after all these things, the next one is penalty. In this struggle, we have gone through these things. We have played full time. We have played extra time. What is holding penalty? Why is Nigeria still demanding that the match should continue? Tell me when, tell me, tell me when will this match continue? That's what we are asking. So, the, like FIFA, they don't have time to, to prolong it. They first say, to first say, for five minutes, after for five minutes, I mean 90 minutes off, then if they play draw, then the next extra time will be for the, uh, at least 30 minutes, that is 60 minutes, or first and second half extra time, one hour again. They, have, they still have time to prolong it, to even tele, tele 200 minutes. But they know the reason why they brought the idea of penalty. Penalty is referendum. Look at the post. Look at the ball. 
Look at the keeper. Look at the Biafran box. Look at Nigerian box. Make a decision that you want Fulani to be raping your mother. Make a decision that you want multiple checking point in your land. Make a decision that you don't want a seaport in your land. Make a decision. That's what we need. That we want Fulani to be destroyed, come into our farmland and destroy it. It is a decision. If our people choose so, IPOB have done their job. This is what we need. Nobody should be trying to change the narrative. Because one thing is that, one, we cannot forget Namdekan. Two, we cannot abandon Biafra. Do you understand? So if we can die for Mazen Namdekan when he's alive, if you he die, if you kill him, because he can never die in your hand, you can only kill him. So if Nigerian state kill Mazen Namdekan, do they think we will decide to be alive again? People that are dying when he's alive, so if you kill him, because Sinan Khan cannot die, but only Nigeria can kill him. Do you understand? If they can deny him access to a doctor, what does that mean? Is that not death? They, they plan to kill him. So what we are presenting is that the Yoruba people is in the position to free Namde Khan, but and uh, we are seeing that the Yoruba people want to kill Namde Khan. That is what we are seeing. Namde Khan defeated the Europe, the northern Nigerian state, Nigerian government. Nigeria have no one nation, no one nation. If something happened to people from the east in the Lagos, they will be asking you, what did the Igbo leader say? What did the Hanese say? They will not ask you, what did the um, House of Assembly member uh, representing Oshodi said? Uh, what did the senator representing Oshodi said? No, they will leave those that have that are in charge of that area, House of Assembly member, uh, state representative, local government chairman, that should respond to issues pertaining citizens. All they care is what somebody from my body state will say. Eda in Ebony will say about what Yoruba people did to Igbo man in Lagos. You will see them demolishing our houses in Lagos. They will never they will tell you. One Igbo man will tell you, if you want to buy a build house, collect C of O. And so yeah, you will be sure that this place is not a, is not government land. Was our money that they took, our will took and gave us 20 pounds, was it more government money? It been my brain and has, nah, my baby brain and has, or any meant Nti we hear Nigeria, we hear nti, nti. Breeze, we hear pass. I hear brain. I go and hear on a sandokia. Brain, I go and hear. Hear on a sandokia. Hear me to give me. Hear me to give me. Hear me to na bo. I go chase ya with hear. Brain, I go and hear on a tokia. Nti, I won't brain. My my brain, we know on a nti. Somebody, they took your money and gave you twenty pounds. And they now told you that you, you, you bought a government land. Was our money in the bank, government money. They took it. So, and you think they will not take your money, even if they give you CFO. In our panorama, Matamunia Bill. Connie, when you're bad. Okay, the, your voter card, was it fake? But they just allow you from voting in Lagos. Now you know. So, why is it that they never arrested a Yoruba man who committed fraud? For selling government land, for falsely selling government land to an Igbo man. No, they, they will not arrest him. And you think you have sense. So, in one Nigeria, a tribe can be committing offense, fraud against a tribe, collecting money. They will build a house. And who is the Minister of Environment, um, uh, Commissioner of Environment? The Commissioner of Environment will be there. You build your house. You did not come from with the house, you did not build it with the remote. They will look at it. Collect every money needed. After building it, they will go. And you come to demolish it. You will not look for the government, the government that was in power when the building was built, the house was built. Then from that government, you will get people that was in charge of Ministry of Environment. From there, you will know who collected bribe to build the legal structure. You will go and arrest them so that the next government will not do it. Because you, but you will not do it now because you are the one who planned it. As if we are foolish. Though you went to university, but uh, I did not go to university. But I know what should be done for things to be right. If you arrest the person, 
the governor that was in power, when somebody built a house at the government road, because nobody can wake up in the morning and that house are finished. People saw it. If they did not see it, that is negligence and inefficiency of duty. You arrest them. Negligence of duty. So that other people will be watchful and know that they will be aware of every building or structure laid in their environment. In our coin, you know? We continue. Why is the Yoruba people signaling DSS not to allow Namdekano to see his doctor? Why is the Yoruba people doing that? I want to know. Do you want Namdekano to submit? Uh, to, uh, do you want to uh, want Namdekano to surrender? So if he surrender now, his mother, his mother and the father will come back. Nigerian brain. Because crude oil have destroyed the brain. Crude oil money have destroyed the brain of your politicians. They don't know God is in fine. So IPOB will now go to those who kill their, par their parents and they kill their only son and kill their father and kill their mother. We tell them, uh, we are now in Nigeria. Some of you don't reason. The only thing we can use to defend ourselves is that our people voted for Nigeria during referendum. So nobody will come and hold IPOB and say, you, you led my son to death. I, I know why I'm revealing these things to Nigeria. So that they will not be thinking that somehow they do it, IPOB will stop. When our last bus stop is, is referendum, last bus stop referendum. We fight to the end. We have no time to go and explain to any parents. We can only challenge the parents with referendum if our people fail, if they vote for Nigeria. But as for now, we don't have anything to go and tell anybody. And Nigeria can never push us to that. How many houses shall we approach? How many families do you want us to approach and beg them for forgiveness that their son or their daughter, their mother, their, 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 their father? For what? Challenge us with, with referendum. Challenge us with referendum. We, don't, we cannot go and explain again. We cannot explain to any parents. We can, we can be bold enough to challenge a family and say, why did you not vote for Biafra during referendum? That is the only defense I have. As for me, I, can, I, will, ne I will never go and explain to anybody. So if Nigeria wants to, the only thing is referendum. Forget the delay. Why do you plan to kill Namdekan? You and your DSS. Why? Namdekan defeated Buhari. He defeated them first time. They went to go and kill him. They fell. They kidnapped him 20 to 20. He defeated them again. They said and acquitted. And they submitted MK, MTK's file without charges to you. Under your government, Supreme Court said that Nankan should stand trial. Then why did you appoint the Yoruba people that are in the position to decide Nankan? Look at them. Attorney General of the Federation or Attorney General of the State have every right to decide any case from his honorable office. It is constitutional. But you made the, the, the Yoruba man that is the chief judge went to the Supreme and referred them the can who already discharged and acquitted case and prohibited from standing trial. You referred him back to Federal High Court. Chief Justice, you are you not the head of Supreme? Do you understand? So Yoruba people, are you not wise? Are you not wise? Do you know where life is? Do you know when an Amdekano will die? Are you God that created him? Then why do you want to kill him? Because his time to die have not reached. So why do you want to kill him? Why are you denying Namdekan access to his doctors? Upon the denial to his rights, which is court judgment. You refuse to take him to Kuje, where he can demand he can demand for anything or take treatment of his 
choice. Why did you deny him there? Upon he had been discharged. Was he not the kind of convicted? This is one thing Nigerian citizens never ask. You know, they went to school. They went to Unicab, Unilag, Unio. They went to UNN. You don't know that Namdekani is not a convict. If he is a convict, he died in your custody. No problem. It's a government property. Even if he is a convict, he died in your custody. We will not take it light. Because he lived millions. Had Jesus had the followers like IPOB, nobody would take it light. Even the people, his family members will never come and say he died for them. You that he said Jesus died for you. Because he has 12 disciples. You will now come and tell me he has 70 others. What we know was 12. Who was in that house? The 12 that, he, that um, was present on the Pentecost day. IPOB is not 12. If Jesus has the followers of Unam the Kano, the number of followers of Unam the Kano, don't come and tell me, he have followers all over the world. Why are you still sharing his program? Why are you still evangelizing for Jesus? If he have followers all over the world then. He, there was no microphone. He go to the sea to use wave. He go to the mountain to use echo. There was no mic. Namdekan is on IMO. WhatsApp. The call on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Let us go to let us go to Viber and see who is there. Right? We are on IMO, we are on WhatsApp, we are on internet, we are on um, what is it called? Satellite. We are on, what is it called? Sky. We are also on WhatsApp. We are on the color and phone. Can you hear me? Do you understand? So don't ever reason to compare. Over 2,000 years ago, I can preach with your Jesus. Because there was no such thing then. Spread the gospel once. We capture it. We have once. He has followers. One day, he cannot die in your custody and you go free. Not that the enemy cannot die in your custody. You cannot kill him because he can, his time has not come. If anything happened to him, the Nigerian state, Yoruba people, the northern state that refused court order, Nigerian, the northern um, part that refused court order, and they handed Namdekanu over to Yoruba people. All of them will face the battle. All of them will face the battle. There will be no bus stop for this very battle. There will be no bus stop. After all, we are not safe. You that think you have a home. You are from North or Lagos. You have home. You know we don't have home. Because you hate us. So we can die to have a home. Our home is under siege. We are not safe if we are quiet. We will die. So it's better we die agitating. If we can die for Nam Dekan Kwe, he's alive. Just because of illegal detention. If you kill him, what do you think will happen? I want to know. And that is, if Nam Dekan die now, your one Nigeria will be indestructible. I think. He's got your brain, he's telling you. Some people are very, very foolish. So, if you kill Nam Dekan now, you have maintained one Nigeria. Then, what is your reason of denying him access to his doctor when you cannot free him? So, you think if you deny him access, okay, this is Yoruba pattern. Tunubu have denied him, do all. He did not surrender Biafra. So, this is your own. For him to surrender to Tunubu's um, agenda of negotiation. And you don't know you are dealing with uh, Igwe. Namdekanu Igwe. You are dealing with Igwe. You don't know. Is it to torture Namdekanu to surrender Biafra? Then uh, and let the, the parents re, uh, resurrect. Uh, let our people you kill the resurrect. It's a bummer. Referendum is the only defense of Nigerian states, not even IPOB. Grant IPOB referendum, that is the only thing you can use to free your government from your citizens and say, we have done our best. 
It was their people that decided to leave. Gun cannot stop us. Illegal detention cannot stop us. If you kill an American, one is that you will no longer have the Nigeria, but we'll have our Biafra. God is our witness. Yes, doctor, don't worry. That's our leader, the foreign journalist, as Mazenam the can. If referendum fails, what else? He, he said. He said, if there is no no referendum, if no referendum uh, granted, if the referendum option fails, what? Now he said it must be referendum. We will keep agitating. We must go with civil disobedience. We keep agitating. They expected him to say what. Well, Understand this. I am a winning. I am about I feel worse. On your side, you fit when you get back or when you are gay, the walker, send I feel worse. When that time come, I feel worse. On your fessor, who are able to say the fessor, who are you going to get a boy born? Who say the fessor? You don't come to announce what you are doing. The government will confirm what you are doing. That's why idiot will come and tell you, we give 500 army. We give 50. You are the one that will tell Nigerian government that you give the army around our body. Who told them that, for, uh, that they kill four army in our <laughs> They are the people that will tell you. You can't kill the army, they keep quiet. After all, you can, they can keep quiet in the north. Talk more of east. They instigate trouble to invade our communities, talk more of when you get their army. <laughs> that is what we are saying. So, we continue. There are instructions with us, and we maintain it while things can still go on. That is it. So, we continue to push. What we are now trying to set up is the real position of the battle. Our people must understand that what we care is the health condition of our people, you may not even care about the source of the message, but pertaining our leader, you must take it serious. Now, there is something I want to bring to our people. I will not join it with this program, because the program is to the government. Right? Uh -huh. So, I will make it separate. Stage by stage of this battle, stage by stage of this battle, and nobody hate anybody. All we do is to correct and to direct. If you abide, or you follow the directive or correction, anybody is still repeating it, you know that the person have another thing. So what we need is to move. And there are matters that what we are, why we intervene in some matters is for you to understand that we know it. If you subpedal, then that does not mean that the matter has been forgotten. But we will raise it when time comes. Do you understand? So we continue. I will bring that thing. I will bring it. I don't want to give it to enemy here in the same program, please. So let us move. Who is the troublemaker? IPOB or Nigeria? Why can't the citizens of Nigeria stand on their feet and do themselves good? You have no place if, Niger if, you, if you kill Namdekano, if Nigerian state kill Namdekano. One thing is that Namdekano, you did not kill him as a convict. You did not kill him as a condemned criminal. You did not kill him as a lifer, life imprisonment. If you kill him, you kill him as a freed man, not even as a waiting trial, because he's not awaiting any trial. He's not awaiting any trial. There was no charges, there is no charges against Namdekano. After all, the charges they prepared against Namdekano from 2021, they call it amended camp charges. If they are, but they told the world that Nam can jump bail. He refused to come and start his trial. Then when they kidnapped Nam and brought him back to Nigeria, they refused to present the warrant, which the warrant was granted by which the charges. That is this. Which oh, I need to share this program. Which the charges bordering treason and terrorism are in it. Now, if they were telling the world he jumped bell, he refused to come and stand his trial, why did they abandon the charges in that warrant? 
and they choose to come up with amended count charges. And the worst part of it is that you have the right to amend charges, but the worst part of it is that the period, the year whereby the new amended count charges, that is, the period they mentioned that the offense was committed, is completely off from 2015, 2016, 2017 that he was granted bail or that he faced trial and was granted bail. Though he was discharged from three courts, after all. But two was automatically mentioned. But the number three referred DSS to go and obey the previous court rulings. But two courts discharged him unconditionally. Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court Abuja, 2015, and John Soho of the Federal High Court Abuja, 2016. And in 2016, Ahmed Mohammed told DSS to go and obey these two previous court rulings. That is three. Three. And in 2017, Bitanya could granted maximum can bear. Do you understand? Yeah, we are aware. We are aware. We are aware. We are aware. We, are aware. We, we, we present it in time. Right? That is it. So we must continue. Share it. I am your right it only make a motion did we so it is proper what we are doing is that nigerian state said it is caught we followed them we defeated them in 2021 they came up with amended count charges that most of the dates in the amended country they started from 2018. They will say from 2018 to 2021, you committed social offense. 2019 to 2021, you committed social offense. They never mentioned 2017. They never mentioned 2016. They never mentioned 2016. But they used to call us terrorists. But they proscribe us 2017. But they never mentioned 2017 and say, this court you committed 2017 that warranted the prescription. Because if we are terrorists, they will not grant us bail. They will not grant them kind of bail in March. So you granted him bail in March. He became terrorist in September. Do you understand? So he wasn't terrorist. You granted him bail. Because you cannot grant terrorist bail. So was it when he escaped death that he became terrorist? Do you understand? When he escaped death from the army, he became terrorist. So now, in 2021, the charges they prepared against him was activities that went, that happened 2020 and 2021. But some charges, they will mention 2018 to 2021, from 2018 to 2021. But what they mention in the charges, the amended count charges, both 5, 7, and 15 amended count charges against Mazen and the 2021, 2022. What they mentioned there were NSAS, attack on government facilities, attack on INEC facilities, um, that is unknown government, an umbrella election. These are the things we saw that have been amending in the charges. Then, but he was attacked in 2017. But these things in the charges happened 2020, 2021. So, and you ask them, was it why he jumped bail? Because of what will happen in 2020. So, Manikano jumped bail. He ran away. He escaped. He, he refused to come and face his trial. Because in 2017, because of what will happen in 2020. Now you know that Nigeria is foolish. Those things they presented are new warrant. Should be new warrant. What make it new warrant is because it is outside the date where he was accused of crime. You cannot accuse me in 2016. I'm in detention. And I was granted bail. Right? In 2016... Okay, maybe in 2018, I was granted bail in 2018 after three years. Now, I came to court again. Maybe you arrested me. You start charging me for what I commit in 2020. 
You will not abandon what you say I committed. That is to say you came up with new warrant. But you try to use the old warrant to guide it. As if that is it, they are all channeling to the same warrant. There is nothing like that. You can only amend the charges in that warrant he was granted bail. You don't come up with new, new warrants, new, new charges. Off, completely off. That is 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Off from 2017, 2015, 2016, 2014. You never mentioned, he never committed crime then. But you attack his house in 2017. And you say he jumped bail. He refused to come and start his trial. Then when he kidnapped him from Kenya, you refused to present that trial he refused to come and stand. You started coming up with amended countries that started from 2018 to 2021. Then who is deceiving who? I want to know. Automatically, there was nothing in that warrant that warranted them come to jump bail. If there was, why did you abandon it? And come up with amended amend count charges. That is my question. So what I am presenting. This is a short program. My, my environment is not conducive. After all. That is why I come with chances. So I will not prolong. DSS is here. After all they are among. They are among. They are among those. Right? But how get you now? How get you now? Hagi chia kanal. Hagi mwa kanabe. Otuwa. Ka hagi mepe. Even aka ha mepe or aka obogo. Aka obogo mwani hena anotane ya me. Ihe mini ya da chasarara. Right? So hagi chia kanal. Mwani hagi mwata. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am So now, before I run the top, those Yoruba people should know that we, we cannot forgive the Northern. We cannot forgive them. That are accepted empty case file and using it to keep them they can and upon that they are denying him access to his doctor the Buhari Fulani Nigerian government submit left empty case file for Buhari, for Tinubu you cannot use it to torment them they can was it why you appointed your people as attorney general and chief justice Attorney General is number one in the, in the matter. Attorney General is the one that sent prosecutors. Attorney General is the one that prepared charges. Attorney General is the one that have the constitutional right to destroy the case. So why did you appoint appointed Fabemi? Why did you appointed Ariwola? You are uh, sorry, Ariwola was there before the handover. So why was Ariwola there? Because he was there to truncate the Supreme Court judgment. But Chief Justice is the head there in Supreme. They should make move and do the needful. Mazin Namdekano, the only way to defeat Namdekano is that you will take uh, the, he, he, he will take Namdekano away from the mind of our people, both home and abroad. But that is an impossible task. You cannot do it. Then you will also destroy IPOB, which is impossible. Then you will pollute the name of IPOB and ESN. Then our people will reject IPOB, reject ESN. Then you pollute and demonize the name of Fernand de Cano. Then our people will reject the, him. Then, then you defeat. You defeat us. But these things cannot happen. So how can somebody have a mind that something will happen to somebody like Mazen Namdekan that nobody have had a follower had had followers like him since the world was created? Oh yeah, show me one. Show me one now since the world was created. No, show me one. 
O fo ewo ike bi asim Jesus na Christian believe no followers of Jesus e join my Jesus Ogara church organization e bi do na Jesus ke chori bi present in one one bi we think am lag ni Jesus Ogara Ogara Christ Jesus of Christian his followers who dwell 70 others e do dey one zone IPOB 70 others it's about 5,000 or 7,000 or, or, or IPOB or IBS state. Or would IPOB or number of state. Had Jesus had followers like him, they can one day, in one way, in one way, he get you answer a case. They deal with you. On the way 12, it's day, how about him, how nature? Han or ten days, Pentecost, how about that? More Pentecost, how about that? Out of Apostle chapter 2. Also, until the disciples received the power of the Holy Ghost, they could not be able to speak with boldness. But the power of the Holy Ghost, they could not be able to speak with boldness. In the power of the Holy Spirit. So they were afraid. They cannot be able to speak with boldness until they receive it. But when Namikami was kidnapped, we speak with boldness. We was not waiting for any Holy Ghost. We didn't lock ourselves in the house. These people were 12. One day Jesus went number of us. One day, Uwakareba, Uwakareba, Agaragara. Now you know. Show me now who have followers like him. <laughs> Physical follower. I will quite like my page. Follow me. Follow my Instagram. Follow my page. Physical follower. You know him. Physical follower. Follower, physical follower and love you. Not with any interest. Love. Lovely followers. Sincere followers. Oh, yeah, Niku, that's what we say. Voluntary followers. Not follower with the expectation. So how do you challenge such person? Then why can't you free him? Do you know what is... How many politicians are voluntary in Nigeria? How many Nigerian citizens can die for you? They cannot volunteer their life. And you are holding somebody that people will die for with joy. People should calculate. It's not easy. How, as far as you didn't succeed with infiltrators, free them they can one day. Our people should protest against Nam Dekano. Our people should protest against Nam IPOB. Our people should protest against ESN before you defeat Nam Dekano. If not, and those things have come and passed, you have tried it, it didn't work. Nigerians must hate Nam Dekano, which you came with no election. You spent so a criminal to say no election. So that Yoruba and the Northern, all of them will say IPOB failed. Well, the whole Nigeria want to make Ibo man president, Peter will be, but IPOB is in the election. Nobody will mention the criminal you recruited. So that one was instigating Nigerians against us. We neutralized such trap. That one fell. And it was also an express road for Tinubu to become president without Peter be challenging him because if there was no voting in the East, Peter be have no reason to go to court. Let's marry on our way. You cannot lose an number and get 10% vote. You'll be dragging a boat or drag rivers. Or you drag Lagos. You say, I want Lagos. They will ask you, how many percent do you have in Abe and the Enugu and the Anambra and the Imu before you come and drag Lagos? They will tell you, if you lost an Anambra, if your people did not vote in Anambra, how can you win Abuja? How do you win Federal Capital? How do you win Rivers? How do you, how can you win uh, Lagos? He was dragging those things because there was massive and peaceful voting by those that believe Nigeria will work for them. As we told them, it will not work. They say it will work. I say, look at you. Zeke, Zeke that make, that he, suppose his name should be Nigeria. He cried over Nigeria. I talk more of you. Zeke, his name should be Nigeria. <laughs> but he, he never enjoyed. He cried. Nigeria happened to him, man. The father of Ojuku, who sponsored the independence of Nigeria financially, Saluwi Ojuku. <laughs> Imagine they got the independence, they seized his ship that was carrying up no <laughs> If Nigeria happened to him, he would know. Zeke he ran to um, the father of Ojuku called Zeke. You know, Zeke, he asked Zeke. Zeke said his government. 
And if Luis is told Zeke, okay, government, don't worry. My son will rule you and do you the same thing. And Zeke said, one day we are manching. That was the problem between him and Ojuku. The bet, bet Ojuku have with Zeke. That's why Zeke was against Ojuku. Was against Emeka. He had the bet with the Luis, the father of Ojuku. Zika is one day we are marching. That was the problem. So what I am we are presenting here now is that Nigerian state should free Namdekan. What kind of intimidation will you present or carry on Namdekan now that will make him to succumb? What will you do to IPOB that will make her to succumb? You did not confront IPOB with civil defense. You first of all came with army. So we do not expect anything again. We have seen your army. We have seen your police. We have seen your navy. We have seen your air force. All have been used on us. But had you come with civil defense, we'll say, ha, what will happen when the police will come? Now, if you are telling us what your army can do, we'll be afraid. But for now, we have known how Nigerian army used to kill. They can kill innocent children. They can kill aged men, mothers. They can kill aged fathers. They can... So we know how you can kill. You can kill our people at any time. You are free. You see it as a pleasure. Even an average Nigerian from the West and the North, if you make somebody from the East to be in pain or to cry, you are righteous. It's just, you are just practicing righteousness in Nigeria. Just make an Easterner to cry. Or make an Easter, Easterner to say, hey, look at what happened to me. Hence, you are from Europe or from the North. You make an Easterner to cry. See you in heaven. You are closer to God. Thank you. So, that is what we are saying. That is what we are saying. They must. They should not take us for granted. We did not come to try. There is something people will do. You say, hey, they came to try. When, with our foundation now, all over the world, who is that deceiving the government that if this thing happened, this will not happen? You trust your army. So, so this thing your army is doing, sitting on size two, toasting women at the checking point, you think if IPOB or Biafra, because it will not end in IPOB, everybody will now become army. If anything, if you kill him, because nothing will happen to him. His time of death has not come. But you, you kill him. He's in your custody. So if you kill him, you know it will not end in IPOB. Now you understand. Everybody will do his or her own. While IPOB remains under command and doing their own, and people that will do their own will not command them all. They are not under our command. By then, you will not have anybody to call and say, control these people. By then, no more ear. We cut off our ears. You know, you have ears now. You are closing it. Time is coming when you will not, IPOB will no longer have ear. You will, not, you will know that this ear, somebody can decide not to have ear. We know the stage when we need no ear. Right? So, free Namdekan, free Mazen Namdekan, we can never stop their fragmentation. Mazen Namdekan can never surrender. Our people can never reject Biafra. Our people can never reject IPOB. Our people can never reject ESM. Why is it that Nigerian state their army and police are the people protesting against IPOB, saying blackmailing us, say we do so so thing. This is what the world knows that a government can do. It is not new that government will blackmail people that want to free their people. Britain did it to us, they call us rebels. The only thing that guarantees the world that we are evil is when our people protest against us. But they have not done so. So Nigeria presentation is just useless. Our people need Biafra. They love Namkan. They love IPOB. They love ESL. Upon all your black men, they can never protest against us. Then your own presentation is useless. But our people have protested against the Bubago. 
protested against um, your police, protested against your army. But you never stop them. But IPOB, ESN that our people do not protest against and have never, and is not intentional, uh, is not intending to do, and, and they are not intending to do so. They are the people you keep presenting to your media. IPOB do this, IPOB do that. If we pick up gun, will you have army at the checking point? This is first question. If we pick up gun, will you move army from Gombe, Taba? I want to know. So our borders will be open. If not for anything, if you kill us, we use the dead body of those you killed to block main road. If we don't have anything to do. We don't have three. We don't have anything. You'll be moving from our state to state. You'll move from Imo, move army from Imo, uh, from Enugu to Aba. And that is what you think. Express road for you as Nigerian army. Don't allow that very time to come. Don't allow it. Do it now. Because all, all we will collapse everywhere. Those your informant will run to you. They will run to you. Nobody will be informing you again. You see those that used to give you informant here, if you allow that stage to come, those politicians, those your informant, they will run to you in Abuja or Lagos. You see that everybody here are your enemy. Your army cannot operate in a land that rejects them. Security can be successful if the people loves them. Understand this. Understand this. We know all these things. We knew all these things. We cannot fight you in a state. We'll fight you everywhere in all the states at the same time, the same day, the same time. We'll confront your army the same time, the same day. You will not have the chance to move army from over to Enugu or to Anambra or move from Anambra to Enugu. The army in Enugu will face us in Enugu. Your army in Ebony will face us in Ebony. Your army in Anambra will face us. No one will ever come from Gombe and cross the river Benue. I I know I'm not going to look where here. We do not come to try. Now nothing is happening. If one thing happens in Aba, you move army from Gombe. Move from Adamawa. Move from uh, 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 Borono. Move from Enugu. Move from, uh, what is it called? Ohafia. All of them will be going to a place. So if there is war, you'll be moving freely like that. I want to know. Mad people everywhere. Free Nam de Khan. Free Nam de Khan. That is what we need. Right? So, for now, yes, they have come. You know the, what I wrote there? You know the Facebook for Yoruba now. But uh, my time, you know, is over here from my location, you know. I don't mind my environment anyway. My time is over. Yes, yes, you are aware now. <laughs> my time is over. Brady Brady Kate and Bido and Buffet, but never I got my size. I got no Brady Banner, the Gambit, the Mara, the Quimbank, Caribou, the Quimbori Shallow, Quarry Shallaka, the Madame Matasize, your name, Bukuyon. Right? But we must reach there. We must reach there. They're not even there. I am like a honey. I'm 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 like a I told you where I'm here for this. Dara. Mandy Kessie and Ham Dibini. Somebody is from here. From over from. You put it here. But then Ragana is in Nagana. Neighbors are her village. Dara. Somebody is the governor. No minister. This is a skeleton. Not pretend. Mother Namunje. Namunje. Namu. 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 Now, why now? You got a little me born in a motor pass now. Now, now, let it be confirmed one and did him ban. You buy that, you buy my market, you home at the Hadek and Woke. But only an area go, woman is tap with your one on Pama. Dick or up on the year. We are for them, Baba, or also. We were also navy to pay. Free Nam de Cano. Thank you. From me. Let's have people evangelist about the matter of Jamachuku. From here, our homeland radio Biafra. It is good evening.